Hi, and welcome to part 17 of building a SAS using Django and Vue.js. Today I'm going to do some different things around the page. I've set up a to-do list of the five things I'm going to do today. I can first begin by removing plan from the S settings form because I don't need that anymore. So I can go to settings.html and I can just remove this field like that and save. But I also need to remove it from the views because I don't want to get it here. And then I can also remove this and I can save it. And then I can go to the browser to refresh. I see that's gone. Perfect. So then I can move this to the done column. Okay, I can move this there and make the pro button look better. It's this. It's not actually a pro, but it's the plants button. So I can go back to settings.html again. Class button is primary save but I want to add some columns here as well this multi line this and then add a class column is 12 Copy this. All right. Okay, so it looks a little bit better. Doesn't have to be any better than this. If you want to make it look better at your application, you, you can do that, of course. So then I remove that to done. Okay, when you are a pro subscription, no, when you have a pro subscription, we don't want to see this because you are already a subscriber. So then I need to make it possible to know when you are subscribed. And the way to do that is that earlier we just used this but I want to change so that we check if this subscription is actually active. And I can do that by getting the subscription and checking if I get this here and down here, I can see that the current period end hasn't come yet. So that's what I want to check now. Or we can just check the, I think it should be a, Another field we can use. Yes, status. We can just check that this is active. Much easier than using the dates. So when we go to the settings page, actually I can create a function. Def is pro self then I need to import this table which is called subscription from DJ models import subscription I guess I don't know what it's called yet but we find it out subscription equals subscription dot objects dot get where ID equals this ID equals self dot subscription Turn false just check that this working Okay, it doesn't say anything here yet. 
dot python manage shell from user no apps dot user profile dot op models import user profile vp equal user profile dot object get just wanted to get the profile for my user which is code at code dot com for now vp dot subscription Okay, it says that is pro false is not defined, of course, but it didn't give any more errors. So I think I've got the correct one. So I can run the server again. Okay, and then I can return subscription.status like that. And inside settings, we can just print the request.user.userprofile.isPro and see what it says. Active. It's perfect. If not equals active. So if it's not an active subscription, we will show this. Perfect, and I can just remove this. But there's almost also one more problem because inside here, basic no um, places like this shouldn't be used anymore. So I need to change this to, if it's basic, it's pro. Not is pro, so that should be working. Um, basic, did I use this in other places? Yes. Okay, here I check if you are pro. So then I can just say is pro and not is pro like that. Then we can save. Everything looks okay. Yes, perfect. So I can then remove this. Make sure that when you are have a subscription, it's working. Yes, that's working now. Then we can do some changes. Yes, I am a pro user now, but I can still go to uh, plans. So everything here should look a little bit better. We can set these to hidden if we don't want to see them. Like that. Okay, it looks a little bit better, but I want to fix that button. Class button is primary. Okay, table class field table class control maybe add a line between them and this can have a title as well subtitle Card information. Okay, now it looks a little bit better. 
So I can remove this, set it to done. And that should be it for this video as well. In the next video, I'm going to wrap up this series and deploy this to a C VPS server. There are still a ton of things left to do here, but I think I've covered everything I'm going to do in this tutorial series. Okay, see you next time when we're going to deploy the project to a DigitalOcean server.